Hello my beautiful and amazing crafters. Welcome to another video of Crafting with Shanita. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make your own DIY shadow box using these Dollar Tree glitter frames. Now I have a more detailed video where I go into depth about making these shadow boxes with the smaller glitter frames. It was my very first time making them and I noticed my local Dollar Tree had these 5x7 so I thought it would be a good, good time to do another one. So let's assemble these frames. So for the very first frame, all you're going to need is the back, the foundation. And I always like to check it and make sure that it's nice and sturdy and not wobbly. And then you're going to need the actual glitter frame with the four piece hardware that comes on the back. You will not need the glass for the very first layer. Now for the second layer, all you're going to need is just the glitter frame itself. I'm going to very carefully remove the hardware and I'll get close so you can see it doesn't take much to slowly twist it from side to side and pull it out without ripping or tearing that frame. And I'll have all the items that I used in the description box below. You won't need the backing or the glass for the second layer or the second frame. And for the third and final frame, this will be the frame and portion that goes on top of the shadow box to seal everything. All you're going to need is the glitter frame and you're going to remove the hardware like you did before. And you'll need the glass. Now I went ahead and went into Cricut Design Space and created a template so I knew exactly how, what size it, my design needed to be to fit into the shadow box. Even though the, as you notice in the beginning of the video, it said 5x7, but it was a little bit larger than that. It was 6.2 by 8.2 was the actual full dim dimension of the frame. So I went ahead and cut out um, a design template so I know exactly what to do before I got started on my project. So let's go over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how I created this template for the, my design I'm making today. So now in Cricut Design Space I'm going to go ahead and create the template for my frame. The template for this particular frame is 6.2 by 8.2 inches and I came up with that uh, dimension from trial and error and just cutting different templates till I got it to fit just right. Now that I have the template design, I could go ahead and bring my element for my 3D rolled flowers. In this case, I'm going to be making a teacher appreciation shadow box. So I'm going to bring in this apple and then I could size it to according to my liking for the shadow box. Once I like now that I'm happy with the sizing of the template, I'm going to go ahead and add some text and personalize the design. And now I'm ready to send everything to the mat, cut it, and get ready to assemble the shadow box. So when I create my shadow boxes, I like to have that back layer, either a piece of glitter card stock or texture card stock. So I went ahead and cut that out and I'm going to place that into the frame and then I'm going to place the backing and make sure it's nice and sealed. For this particular frame I went ahead and just glued that glitter piece on to make sure it was secure and then I'm placing I'm doing an apple a teacher appreciation shadow box I'm sorry it didn't show up too clearly in the video, but I placed that apple template on 
I heared it on top of the glitter cardstock. And I'm getting ready to assemble my roses. I'm gonna go ahead and place the second layer, the second frame, which is just a frame alone, on top of the first frame. And I will be using E6000 and hot glue, the combination of two, to secure that second frame to the first frame. I made sure it was nice and secure and there wasn't any glue seeping out on the sides and I allowed it to dry and then I came back and started uh, arranging my roses in my first video and I will put a card above so you can click on it if you'd like to watch it I go into detail on how I make these rolled flowers and I just took my time and just did layer by layer adhering each petal to the apple template that I created. Now for the verbiage that I'm going to put on the glass, I'm going to use Oracle 650 permanent vinyl and I place the vinyl on my mat as normal but I mirror my design. And the reason that I do that is so that way I can place the verbiage inside the frame inside the glass so that way the individual can wipe and clean their glass now for the third frame all you're going to need is the frame and the glass again I'm going to remove the hardware and secure the glass to that third frame and cleaning it and then with the e6000 and hot glue adhering all three frames so by Mirroring my design and placing the vinyl on the inside of the frame allows me to be able to keep the glass clean and keep that vinyl lasting longer. Now I'm showing you the difference between my very first shadow box and this larger size. They both turned out great and look amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned a little or a lot. And I'll see you on the next video of Crafting with Shanita. Happy crafting.